It's difficult for most of us to pause, to take a break, to get quiet on the inside and on the outside. We lead very busy lives. We have responsibilities for our loved ones, for our homes, and our works often require us to multitask and, and to produce more than seems humanly possible. In this context, it's often difficult for us to break away and to allow ourselves to just be silent, to be quiet in the moment. Even when we're able to take a break, to go for a run or for a walk, we're often plugged in wearing earbuds, listening to music or a podcast. And that prevents us from experiencing silence, silence where we can be at home with ourselves to really relax and to, in a sense, shut down, which is a very important part of our own growth. Traditional spiritual practices like meditation, mindfulness, prayer, and yoga are all practices that are meant to help us become quiet on the inside and on the outside. In teaching us how to do that, they enable us to both relax and to be more comfortable in ourselves, but to also grow and to become more whole, to integrate ourselves. We find that when we're able to be quiet on the inside and on the outside, we let go of stress and tension and are able to be more focused. We have very clear uh, benefits physically from getting quiet on the inside and on the outside. Benefits like lowering our blood pressure as well as increasing our cognitive ability. It isn't just traditional spiritual practices that can offer us these benefits non-traditional things that could be considered kinds of spiritual practices, like artistic pursuits, writing or painting, coloring, done in a mindful way, help us to experience that inner kind of quiet. There are ways in which singing or playing an instrument also draws into that quiet center when we experience ourselves as at home with ourselves. When we learn to get quiet on the inside and on the outside, even for 10 or 15 minutes, three times a week, we find that we're able to be more relaxed, that we go with the flow, that we're actually more productive because our minds are functioning better. We feel better about ourselves and are able to connect in a more whole way with the people around us. Some Buddhist teachers suggest that the way to learn to be silent in meditation is to pay attention to our breath. In particular, they'll suggest that we pay attention to when we breathe, when we exhale. So imagine sitting quietly, your eyes opened or fixed on, on something in particular. And in that quiet spot, just being aware of your breath as it leaves your body so that when you inhale, you experience a moment of silence. You're aware as your breath leaves, but let go of the awareness and you're quiet as you inhale. And the Buddhist teachers believe that by simply getting used to experience that moment of silence when we breathe in, we're able to build on that silence and experience it more and more. Now, I learned meditation in a very different way. I was taught as a teenager to go into church and to focus on the light of a candle. And that once I got quiet watching that candle, to then take that quiet inside of me and to just be present and to just sit still and be quiet and be present to what was happening there. That was my first step into meditation. And since then, I've learned about meditation from within my own Christian tradition, as well as Buddhism, Hinduism, and Native American traditions. And what I've learned from everything I've studied is that no matter what method one uses, the real focus is to become quiet on the inside and on the outside. That process of getting quiet on the inside and on the outside allows us to feel a better sense of who we are, to experience ourselves more deeply and be at home in ourselves, as well as to live in a fuller, happier, and more content way. Thanks for your time today. Please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave me some comments so that I can respond to you.